before we get started, I just want to say, welcome, I'm Hazi Jung, and on this channel we talk about makeup, as well as Pokemon cards, and I don't have any Pokemon cards. Well, I did end up finding some booster packs the other day, and we're just going to go ahead and open up three Evolving Sky booster packs, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Like I said, we're going to be opening up three packs. So here we have the first one, two, three. Oh, they're all on Brianna. But anyway, before we get started, I just want to say, I honestly, I do not like the name for the Jeffree Star skin. I just feel like Jeffree Star skin is just too much. I just left it out Jeffree Star Cosmetics, you know, and then just have the skincare um, line incorporated within the same name. Just the whole skin by itself is just it's too much. So confusing. And just left it out, oh, just leave it out one particular name might have been better instead of like trademarking all this and all that but that's just me anyways and i did want to say that he did launch like a whole lot of skincare stuff and i did not order all that honestly i just don't think i needed all that and i'll tell you, guys, I'll tell you all why so here's the code card i decided not to get like this not the serum the um what do you come out with hold on so here first thing we have is the energy card we have a load a lombre a Lucky Ice Pop, a Scrafty, Eevee, oh shoot, <laughs> a, temp a Temple, an Applin, oh my gosh, I don't know why I'm, I'm having the hardest time today, a Sublime, a Cutie Fly, like it's super cute, a Lumber for the Reverse and further, we have a shift three. Okay, anyway, so like I was saying, he did launch his new po <laughs> the Pokemon cards. He launched his um, skincare line, and honestly, I don't know how to feel about that because he did launch a whole variety of products, and I'm just like, I wasn't really feeling it. Like, someone like me, I am really picky, not, not just picky, but like, something like I already have my skincare routine going on, and I don't want to mess it up. So let me just tell you what I bought. Well, what he launched. So he did launch the Make Me Melt Makeup Removing Balm. He launched the Strawberry Water Clarifying Cleanser, the Strawberry Water Facial Toner, and the Hydrating Eye Cream, the Repair and Revive Lip Mask, and the Magic Star Glow Face Mist, and a skincare bag. Go ahead and open it up. This is where the box it comes in. I hate little Jeffree Star. Oh my gosh, supposed to lift up. <laughs> so stupid. Anyways, here it is. Jeffree Star skin. I got tissue paper. Little paper dingy. Him. That's all that I bought. Just three items. The Jeffree Star Magic Star Hydrating Moisturizer. Jeffree Star. Oh, snap. Make me melt. Mask moving balm. And I also got the Jeffree Star Skin Strawberry Water Clarifying Cleanser. So. These are the three items I did end up buying. The first thing first I want to go ahead and try is going to be the Make Me Melt Makeup Removing Balm. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So here is the Jeffree Star Skin Makeup Melt Make Me Melt Makeup Remover Balm. This does right, um, retail for $32. And I bought this just because, you know, why not? Like, you're probably wondering why they're buying this if you're not really, you know, like you don't want to try to skin care stuff. Well, this is to remove makeup and uh, that is something I do end up using a lot. I do use, I go through a lot of cleansers and makeup removers. I am a person who uses wipes, but here's what it comes with, a little smaller container. But yeah. Jeffree Star Skin, here we have information, make me melt. There is only around 2.6 ounces of product in here. And we have a little spatula. Oh, that is super cute. It's like so reflective. Oh, it's like a little mirror. 
I can see myself. Oh, it's like a little magnet. Super cute. Let's open it up. Oh, that is it. Okay, so there it is. That's what the, look, the product looks like. We're going to try it out in a second. We're going to try it out in a second. Okay, anyways. So before we get started, let me just show what I have on my face. So I am actually wearing an old Dior foundation. This launched like a few years ago. And I barely bought it like a month ago. The Dior Backstage Foundation. The concealer just came out and I can't wait to get it. So I can review it for y'all. And this is what it looks like. This is going to be the shade 3WP. And I do like it. It's very nice. It provides full coverage. As you can see, because I wear a mask at work and all of my fair is gone. So that totally sucks. I am wearing the new MAC Stack Mascara. I am loving it. Like, I'm loving it so super much. And then there was something else I was wearing, but... I did wear the Kylie Cosmetics lips, lipstick. This is the old formula. Earlier, but it went away. And I was like, at work, I just grabbed a makeup remover wipe and just took that off. Because it looked like I had did the Glock Glock 3000. And I just didn't want to, like, um, show that. And I'm wearing this new... Not, it's, it's not new. It's new to me because I've never used any of their products like that. It's the Macro brow by the creme shop is a korean brand and you can find this everywhere but i found this at macy's the other night and yeah so i'll have on my face right now so we're gonna go ahead and try this out okay so here we go here's what it looks like we got a little spatula and the only other balms i ever use Oh shoot, I don't really smell like any type of like fragrance, so it's crazy. So this does melt. The only other bombs ever worn or used would be the um. The e.l.f. one that just came out last year and also the Clinique one. You can see the mascara just coming off right there. I don't know if there's like any, there's supposed to be like any fragrance in this, but I don't smell anything. And something like I normally do when it comes to taking off makeup and it's gonna with this type of like format is I always end up using a little cotton pads and I don't know what happened to them. I just I had them here earlier. So like I was saying, I usually go ahead and use these little micro pad thingies just to take off the product and I use this with the exfoliating side. Um Oh my god, I feel like I have some particle in here, up in my nose. It's so gross. <laughs> okay. And something he did say, he did say something about, Jeffrey Star had said that, oh, this doesn't, like, cloud up your eyes. And I feel like it kind of does. And I kind of feel like some tingling in my eyes. But it's okay. So the next break I also bought was the Strawberry Water Clarifying Cleanser. And this retails for $28. And I love cleansers. I hope this one's gentle. He says it doesn't strip your face and... I hope not because I do have a lot of cleansers I do not like that I ended up buying and this one I bought it came in a little Clinique thingy and I did not like it it strips my face this came in like in a, in a bundle it strips my face and then my coworker's like oh it doesn't strip your face try the other one so I bought the other one and that one strips my face too 
and I don't like it. So here is the Jeffree Star skin cleanser is what it looks like, you guys. And here are all the ingredients, or whatever you want to call it, you know. So let's just go ahead. Is there a seal in this one? Oh, and then like, I have tried this one by <laughs> Estee Lauder, and that one too. They said that one does strip your face, and that one stripped my face way too much. I did not like it. It's like the one in the red container. So here's what it looks like. Okay, this one smells like strawberry. Oh, and it's like a very gel consistency. Consistency. Okay. And we're going to back a bit just to like see how it works. And I do like gentle cleansers, honestly. Like Dior had this amazing one called the Capture Total. The Capture Total um, Gentle Cleanser. And I loved it. Like, you guys, you have no idea how much I love that one. But then this continued it. And then it came out with a super potent one. And then that one too. Someone told me that it was super face. And it strips the face just a tad bit. But not a lot. Just a little bit. But I do like it. And, but I did can't beat the old cleanser. The old cleanser up like five of those. So I fully stocked myself on those. And... Yeah, okay. Let me wash my face off and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, and I am back. And honestly, my face does not feel stripped at all. But it did not remove makeup effectively. As you can see, I have, like, some mascara residue right there. And what the fuck, Jeff? <laughs> um, My face does feel nice. I don't like how we can still have... See the mascara that I have right over here. It's just not it. What do you want? Don't you want to use the restroom? I already finished. He's, he's done. I already went in. Oh. The hell? Okay. And now what I also... Usually when I usually test or try a new tester, a new tester, when I usually try a new cleanser, I usually follow up with the, um... What's the internet like that Jerry Star did or what most people do? It's like, like oh, not to remove the, um... Makeup is in your pores, so you go back with a freaking uh, toner, and then, like, that's disgusting. Like, no, if you're still getting makeup out of here on your pads, freaking wash that face again. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, that's disgusting. Like, I really can't believe people really be like, oh, um, I'll grab a little pad and go with my toner and just take off all the excess. And what I usually like to do is like, I'll grab a makeup wipe. I know, I'm sorry, so bad for the environment, but I don't care about the environment right now. Go with the makeup wipe and just go all over your face. Just see if you get any um, excess of product out of your face. And that's how you know if there's any makeup on this. That's how you know if that cleanser works or not. That's, what I like, that's how I like to work. How I like to how I like my things to work, you know. See this wipe right here is moving all this mascara right over here, like because my face because this wipe is doing that, it's moving all of the mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my face, not wipe my face. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face again. With that same cleanser, just so I can do a triple cleanse. I know your face doesn't need all that, but honestly, I feel like we do. The wipes seem to feel, they seem to be doing okay. They're not dirty, like how I imagine. Like, I don't know, like what he did. What he do? he literally went to his pores and he, he did this. He was stripping his face with that cotton pad and it was, I don't know, I saw there was like product on that in that video. I did not like it. I'm going to go ahead and just wash my face one more time and I'll be right back. And I am back. My face feels cleaner <laughs> than it first did, honestly. Honestly, much more cleaner than the, the first time. I'm trying to like see why... I'm looking so weird in the screen. Okay. There we go. My face just feels soft. Honestly. Super soft. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and open up the <coughs> Jeffy Star moisturizer. And I know I said I don't like you don't want to buy any of his like actual skincare product, but you know what? There's nothing wrong with trying his moisturizer. The moisturizer, all it does is moisturizes. There's no lifting and firming, nothing to predict you like with any actual skin benefits, honestly. That I need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll be using the skincare moisturizer, this moisturizer, just as a as a transitioning moisturizer because I do work two jobs and um my first job, I will definitely get ready and actually use my moisturizer I normally do for my skincare. Which made the Dior, the Dior La Creme Prefer the Prestige line. And this is what it looks like, you guys. Magic Star Hydrating Moisturizer. See, okay. Magic Star Hydrating Moisturizer, that ticks me off. Just freaking take Jeffree Skin off the entire label and just leave it as Jeffree Star Cosmetics. We all know what Jeffree Star Cosmetics is, JC, and then Magic Star is also the name for their concealers and some other other products, so just leave it at that. Why make it so complicated with Jeffree Skin? Like, who's trying to be Kylie? Okay. Oh, it's like a little foamy thingy. Don't care about that. And here it is. Oh, it's so cute. It's heavy. This the, um, is a 1.8 ounces, like almost... Was it? Yeah, 50 millimeters. It is super cute. Okay, let's open it up. And like like I was saying, so I'll get ready for work and I'll use my actual skincare products in the morning and then I'll come back from work and then I'll you know wash my face off and then I'll be using this to moisturize my face again because it's not a it's not an overly expensive moisturizer and it's not that it's not a, a expensive that's not bougie enough. It's just that. There's no skin benefits, honestly. <laughs> like, it's just a moisturizer. Like, why would I just want a moisturizer? Here it is. <laughs> this smells a lot like the cleanser. Oh, and the cleanser did not foam up at all. There was no soap, whatever. It just felt very gel-like. So, we're going to go ahead and just dip our finger here. No spatula came in this room. I feel like I should use a serum, like one of the little serums that you normally get from BoxyCharm. <laughs> and I only did this because, um, oh, like, okay, like, also, like, I'm getting too ready for work, I'll just use this moisturizer. Can I use a whole lot of moisturizers, especially, like, all the moisturizers I get on my BoxyCharm, I'll use those as transitioning moisturizers, and I'll use that with serums as well. Because I only, I'll only have my moisturizer on for like, what is it, a couple of, a couple of hours, like two or three. So I'm gonna go to, the, I'm gonna go to the gym tonight, and I just like, let me just tell you, this actually has like minimal fragrance, not that bad, and it's so gel-like, not too bad. I really do like how my skin feels, nice and moisturized. But this is super cute. Like, I also just bought it just so I can be put on my vanity. Just, just could be sit right next, right there, next to my Dior um, perfume. <laughs> but it's super cute. I am actually liking it. Okay. Now let's go ahead and open up the next two packs of Pokemon cards. Here we have this one and this one. But yeah, I forgot how much this one costs. I believe this one costs like $38. Oh no, $28. Too. Not that bad. And all it does is just moisturize, honestly. And I was like, I don't need it. It says... It just says 100 in moisturizer. And the thing that says about the product is just says, Our rich and creamy magic star hydrating moisture, moisturizer contains high percentages of niacinamide and sugar-derived sugar lane to help reduce fine lines. And I go, oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> While also pumping the skin. Apple extract promotes water retention while commission rainbow red algae is designed to brighten and balance the skin's complexion. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. It says Okay, then I guess there really is skincare benefits. Okay. Like sorry, Jeffrey Surfer, doubting you. But it's a very really great moisturizer. I'll just use it as a transition <laughs> moisturizer here and there. Okay, so here we go. Loving skies. 
I'm just gonna grab this first. But I do like how it how it feels. The cleanser didn't foam up or became soapy at all. It just feels nice. Here's a code card. You know something else I've been wearing lately? Like I just literally opened today and I'm flipping li loving loving it. It's a fragrance. Hold on, I'll show you what it is. Here's a fire energy card. Snow Leaf Badge. Oh my little sister. Braviary. A Nicotter Ticket. A Bergamite. Carvana. Emolga, Slacketh, a Fletching for the Reverse, and for every half. Oh, and a Glaceon V. That is a pretty card. Okay, what an awesome hit, you guys. Glaceon V. Oh, what was that? Oh, yeah. So, this fragrance, it is so beautiful. I've been wearing it since, like, when I first sprayed it on, which was, like, around 6 in the morning. And I still smell it, like, at work. I smelled it even more. Like, it's just, it projects so well and it's just like amazing and like i smelled it all over myself like well because i work at a kitchen in the mornings and i just smell it and i just like it's right then and there so if you're looking for fragrance for a special girl your mom your sister whoever i definitely recommend the mark jacob is perfect it is amazing this is like oh my gosh it's super fucking cute like i'm not gonna lie like i'm not here to sell the product i'm just telling you how it's how it is because this one actually got, I, I bought like two months ago and I just started opening it today. And I smelled it before. I've always smelled it and it always projects well on other people and, and I like it. I'm not going to lie. I really, really do like it. But I never thought that it actually projects as well as it is projecting or how it performs well because it is so strong. Okay, I've been wearing for the last two weeks, I've been wearing the, the Wild Lip Parfum. And that's a male, a men fragrance. And that one is, I, people say they smell it on me and it smells so great and it like projects well. But honestly, I don't smell it on myself, like how I smell Marc Jacobs. So this one's going to have, when it comes to notes, it's going to have some rhubarb and daffodil. Middle notes will be some almond milk. And bottom notes will be the cashmere. But I really do like it. And the bottle itself is a cute tip. Oh! I mean, look at this. Tell me that it's not flipping cute. That is such a cute little bottle. There's like a little cat, a bow, a little piece of domino, a banana. Oh my gosh, this is super flipping cute. I'm not even going to spray it because I already have, I'm already wearing it. It's so good. I can't believe I haven't worn it sooner because like, like I said, I bought it two months ago and I haven't even bothered like wearing it. But I do like it. It is very... It's a great fragrance. It is very smoothing, powerful, but it smells so good. Definitely worth it. Definitely recommend it if you want to get it for a friend, a girlfriend, your mother, whoever. Like, definitely get it. And it only is like $130 or $34, $30, but it's a good fragrance. Okay, now let's get back to the Pokemon cards. Okay. Next one we have is another one. Is it an Umbreon or what pack booster is inside? I don't know. Let's figure it out. And we have a... I forgot the name of this Pokemon. But yeah, we have this one. Strolodon? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Here's the code card. And we have a Lightning Energy card, a Lucky Ice Pop, a Tentacruel, a Puppy Toad, a Gossip Flitz looking so cute, a Love Disc, Fletchling, Chin Chow, a Petalil, a Great Fight for the Reverse, and further we have a Talon Flame. This would have been a great rare. But anyways. And that is pretty much it. My review on this whole Jeffree Star skin stuff, you guys. I... Don't hate it. It's reasonably priced, honestly. It's not... It's just not, like, luxury skincare. And it's not the, it's not expensive skincare. It's alright. You know, not too bad. I am liking it. I do smell the fragrance of um, the strawberry. And it reminds me of when you... If you ever had played with the strawberry shortcake dolls, it smells like that. 
strawberry extract because there's a whole lot of strawberry extract on this face is feeling so nice and smooth so i'm all ready for the gym i just need to put on a little small face honestly because it's not a small face but like you know like put on some type of makeup on i have to break up on i just don't leave i don't go places without makeup But okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for the gym, and I'll see you guys later on. Have a great one. If you are interested in buying Jeffree Star Cosmetics skin line, I totally recommend it. You know, if you don't want to break budget, why not? It's not expensive. It's not bad. But it smells good. And I'm not going to be trying it because, honestly, I'm not going to be using it consistently, so there's, like, literally no point. I only bought the... I don't like the actual cleansers just to try. But yeah, I'll let you guys know. He needs to come out with freaking foundation. That's what he needs to come out with. Foundation, lipstick, a better lipstick for me. Like, because the bad ones he has are so dry. I'm not going to lie. And then the velvet ones are so nice, but then they break apart so quick. But yeah, I'm going to go to the gym. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Jenny. Take care. Until next time.